massive glory. Exodus chapter 13 verse 21. By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light so that they could travel by day or night. Hallelujah. The glory of God is hard to put into us. But God gave glimpses of it throughout the Bible. The first time the glory is mentioned is in Genesis, and it is referring to God's wealth, the richness of God. So God's glory includes his wealth, but it's much more, more than that. In the book of Exodus, God's glory could be seen leading the Israelites in a cloud pillar by day and in a fire pillar by night. Habakkuk saw God's glory and described it as lightning, like shafts or splendor that stream from his hand. That's Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 4. The word glory actually means heavy weight. <laughs> God is heavy with everything you could ever want or need. He is so heavy with healing. He is so heavy with breakthrough. He is so heavy with provision. He is so heavy with promotion. He is so heavy with salvation. He is heavy with healing that if anyone, everyone in the world believe him for healing, for breakthrough, for victory, no one will have to wait until tomorrow before he receive all what he asks for. In Acts chapter 5 verse 15, this heavy, weighty glory was flowing out of Peter. You see it? As he walked by, people were healed. People brought the sick into the street and laid them on bed and so that at least Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed by. It wasn't Peter's shadow that hid them, it was God's massive glory that surrounded him. If you need healing today, expect the glory. If you need a job, expect the glory. If you need relationship, restore, expect the glory. It is heavy. It has heavy weights. And it's all you have ever need. All what you need is to give your life to him. Submit completely to the Lord Jesus Christ. And his glory begins to manifest through you because as you look into that mirror, into that world, it begins to transform you daily to himself. Then you begin to reciprocate the glory of your maker. Then the word let us make man in our own image begins to be noticeable in your life. And so shall it be henceforth in your life in the name of Jesus. The massive glory of God will be noticeable in your ministry, in your family. In everything you lay your hands upon, it is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. The sure mercy brokers. Subscribe to the Reformer Voice Ministry, 6350 YouTube channel. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen.